Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to the Warzone Academy, the series dedicated to helping you become a better Warzone player through in-depth guides and gameplay. Today, we're starting up a new series called How to Survive Solos, the secrets of success in solos, whether it's aggressive gameplay, stealthy gameplay, or today we are focusing on the pinwheel rotation. Yes, we are going all the way back to the roots of the Warzone Academy, the key to success, talking about the pinwheel rotation, how we can use it aggressively, especially in combination with the vehicle to make safe rotations, to prevent ourselves from getting gate kept, and most importantly, to prevent people from rotating in behind us, counter building campers, and get consistent wins in solos. In this gameplay, you're going to see me playing live like I do over on Twitch, but I am very intentionally coaching you through every decision I make, every gunfight I make, and when I have the time, I'm even showing after the fact, I'm recreating the gunfight and showing you why exactly I won that one. Now, in this gameplay, you see the lobby get absolutely torched. But you see me use consistent and strong rotations to rack up kills and feel absolutely zero stress as I'm going throughout this lobby. It's not a bot lobby. You'll see I run into some very competent players who push me with dead silence, with stuns, and great movement. However, I'm using the pinwheel and some gun skill to completely dominate this solo lobby on my first try to rack up a really easy win ladies and gentlemen if you guys enjoy the warzone academy where i provide all the value to you make sure to drop a subscription on this video drop a like if you enjoy and are excited for this new how to survive solos series because i know there are a lot of people out there who like solos who struggle to find teammates and really want to get good at these 1v1s this is your place to do it however if you are looking for duos trios quads looking for more people to play with join the warzone academy discord that's got people who are like-minded who have learned the skills of the warzone academy and have got good attitudes if you're looking for more, more people to team up with click on the link in the pinned comment and the description to join the discord join the warzone academy community and find new people to drop into verdance with but without further ado enjoy the gameplay enjoy the secrets to the secrets to success of warzone solos peace like we're gonna go buy the buy the book now we're gonna play a little bit of like adjusted pinwheel rotation right because like I still want to be, stay super active and get kills. And the, the whole fundamental of it is we're going to be rotating along the outside of the zone. So I'm not going to land somewhere in here where people are constantly going to be rotating into me. I want to be in control of who I'm around and what, what I'm being rotated into. I will use vehicles in this to speed up my rotations and check along the edge of the pinwheel, but I'm not going to abuse vehicles for a lot of free gunfights. I'll definitely get some free kills out of it. You talk through decisions you have in slow motions. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and some of it will pause after the fact. This it may not necessarily end up in being a huge kill banger, but that's not the average expectation of the typical viewer. You guys are just trying to get some, you know, trying to get some wins in. Maybe maybe you drop double digit kills, but I plan on doing more than that. Yeah, man, school's in, school's in session. Um, so I'm landing outside of the zone. That way I'm wrapping into the zone. There is a chance that you can get gatekeep, gate kept, but um, if you play play smart, play your intention, play your rotations intentionally, um, and don't get caught too far behind. Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. You'll have no issue getting gate kept. You just gotta be smart. You gotta, you gotta realize as you're doing that pinwheel rotation what you're going to be rotating into. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, Key to Victory was one of my first ever, um, it was one of my first ever videos on my channel, one of my most successful videos, and it's what I use. You guys may or may not realize it. I use it all the time in high kill tournament gameplay when I'm making rotations, especially in the late game. You'll see me revert back. Um. To a true pinwheel because it really helps mitigate from getting shot in the back so for solos do you prefer to hot drop or remote and move in it depends me personally i like to drop hot um i i frankly don't play a lot of just standard solos anymore though because so much of my gameplay has been about getting tourney ready worrying about taking on multiple you know opponents at once but that still cross applies over to solos because you want to be really aware of potential third parties and that doesn't so much come with the fact that you've got two guys coming at you at once but a really good understanding of the rotations of the map who's getting pushed in from where where previous gunfights have been and that's where the value 
of, of solos. And that's something I really, really excel in is having a lot of situational awareness. So we know that this guy right now that we're hunting is going to be pushed inside of the zone. We see him right here. And I'm, I'm honestly hoping this doesn't turn into like a highlight reel where I just completely rip someone's head off every single time, right? Enemy UAV it's not overhead. the most beneficial for you. We got a UAV popped overhead. 17 meters. I've got dead silence. We saw him there. We're not going to reach out the same angle. He stuns through. I've got dead silence, though. Going to lay low for a second. Check heartbeat. Nice. So, kind of unfair that I had dead silence in that position. But as I was jumping up here, I saw him. And so I instantly reach out back down. What a lot of people would do is they see that gunfight. They're like, oh, I know where he is. And they want to chow the same angle. You're going to get your head ripped off. Uh, so like I said, I'm really hoping this doesn't turn into turn into a highlight reel. But you see, I've got one kill on the table. I grabbed some early bounties. I already have loadout. I'm going to be able to get my ghost loadout. I've got 14k in the pocket. So this is the benefit of the pinwheel rotation. Typically, I would like to see myself more along this lines, but I had that bounty that I wanted to hunt, and there was a closer buy. But you want to find yourself just inside of the zone to where you can hold people that have been lazy, that aren't being proactive enough about their rotations, and get some really easy kills. I don't want to push out too aggressively, because this zone is going to move pretty quick. But I'm going to basically camp this vehicle to make sure this guy can't get an easy escape. See here, he's looting up inside of that shed. I'm not going to waste my UAV. For a single guy, because I know his general location. And I see him right there. Oops. Nice. So what I was going to do is I was going to rotate up towards that bridge and basically hold him out, knowing that he has the gas on his back. But fortunately, he peeked me. I spotted him. And that's pretty easy from there. From here, you've got two decisions that you can make. Depending on how comfortable you are fighting this area, you can wrap in here because that would be, you know, towards the pinwheel rotation. If you're not comfortable fighting inside a Superstore factory, wrap up and around. Me personally... I'm really comfortable fighting over there. I want a little bit more action. And I've got a UAV in my pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that UAV. And I'm going to push aggressively towards this area. And look for people that are getting forced in from SOS, from bank, from cop. You can see here we have a lot of people that are posted up that are going to be there for the next 10 minutes. So I'm not really worried about forcing those early gunfights. I'm looking for people that are getting pushed out, displaced by the zone. And unfortunately, I'm not seeing much of anything. Take a moment. Grab ghost. And we've got two pings. This guy is going to get pushed out. And we also have another guy on top of factory. Looks like that guy in factory was actually dropping in. We got a UAV to find out. And he just grabbed Ghost. So I don't know exactly where he is, so I'm going to try to take the high ground and scout the area. He's most likely camping inside of Burger. I know I'm going to have one super late rotate over there. I'm using that marker just as a reminder. And this guy's going to play super ratty. I'm basically going to use my vehicle. and staying near pieces of cover. I've got this ridge line. I've got this rock. I'm going to spot him. And I was using that as bait. You want to make sure, though, if you're using that as bait, you want to make sure you have a place where you can take cover. Like, don't use yourself as bait and then drive through the middle of the street. I was using myself as bait, but I had these ridge lines. I had these rocks. I had these planned pieces of cover in my head where I could use the animation of me getting out of the vehicle to surprise him, but without getting caught in no man's land. This lobby got absolutely torched. I don't know what's going on, but still playing aggressively in the pinwheel. We can still get a lot of kills. Looks like this guy in the truck is the guy that we marked from earlier. Might be able to pull off something fancy. 
He honestly could have gotten out there and probably gunned me. Car is weak enough, I might be able to disable it. This lobby got absolutely torched. By station identified. Enemy UAV overhead. So once again, this is just because you're playing in the pinwheel doesn't mean you have to be playing it inside or like on your feet. You can be using the vehicle to speed up those rotations to find more enemies. And right now I'm making a little pit stop to go ahead and grab myself a UAV. Gotta be really careful here. Pulling up in a vehicle, everyone's gonna know where you're at. Check your rooftops. And go ahead and pop it instantly. UAV entering the AO. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the guy. I got one ping there. I'm not sure if I'll get another. So I think I may have gotten a lucky ghost ping. But once again, I'm gonna rotate ahead of the zone. I'm not going to fight with the zone right on my butt because that's going to put me in a really bad spot. Searching for where he may have rotated to. And I don't see him, so he might be directly underneath me. Once again, not cutting out to a stupid angle. Always make sure I have a piece of cover. And I have zero clue where this guy went. Nice little piece of cover for me here. And that may have just been a bug UAV ping. That's sweet. We don't even need it. Same thing here. Looking for everyone that's getting pushed out of TV station. Everything that's getting pushed out of here. Like I said, this may not be the most high kill game ever. But many of you are struggling just to like not get gate kept in solos. And not get, you know, sniped out of nowhere in solos. Playing the edge of the zone. Waiting for all the campers who are terrified to rotate. Waiting for them to get pushed out in the open by the gas. I literally can play like this all day and rack up probably a 60-70% win rate. I missed him, I missed him. Everyone's saying I missed him. Oh, okay. So I'm on the ridge line. I missed him, I didn't see him. No, I didn't see him. All right, well, you guys are more cracked than I am. Kind of a bad spot for me to be right here. This... Once again, doesn't really have a piece of cover for me to hit. Sixty to seven percent, no chance. Uh, yes, sir. For the average player, maybe not, but for me, solos is is very much my forte. Okay, well, I don't see him anymore. I'm going to trade out this tack rover real quick for an SUV. Gas is inbound. Marking you safe zone. So I saw that SUV there. It had a skin on it, so I figured there was someone inside of it. And I saw dead bodies inside of here. Neither stun hit there, but basically my entire goal of that fight was to swing out from areas that he was pre-aiming. If I would have allowed him to peek here slowly, I would have died. So I swung across, and then I swung across again. I got super lucky, though, that uh, I got the kill even with missing both stuns. Okay, I see a sniper glint up on the hill. I have a self-revive, so I feel comfortable challenging it. Nice little reposition on that guy's part. Crack them. We both ego it. Enemy UAV overhead. Now what Enemy I'm probably going to do overhead. is work my way back up this right-hand side. I'm driving. To use this vehicle as safety from that car. Mm -hmm. 
So keeping an eye out on what's getting forced out by this next zone. I should ex expect some people to get pushed out of here. I've got some money, so I want to take advantage of this buy. Keeping a close eye as I'm rolling up, looking at all the windows, looking in the attics. I noticed that the buy's already been opened. But unlooted inside of here. Do a quick double check inside of these windows. They're clear. Hmm. Lost the gunfight. I probably should have won. I was going to say if I had my Cold War MP5, I would have felt a lot better about it. Had him down to one HP. Tried to use the door animation to get him on surprise. Close fight regardless. Yeah. I was expecting to push more aggressively, but it was weird. He like took the fight and then pushed up to the left. I don't understand why he would have done that. Um, not having the audio cues really, really hurt. Hopefully I'll be able to kill and get back in. This side's pretty beneficial for getting to the tank first. So I just rush it. I see him on my left playing for information. Oh, he's deep in my spawn. So basically what I was doing there is I didn't want to like you'll see a lot you'll see a lot of pro players do this you pre-aim an angle to where you can be aimed down sight and still see both sides of the angle and then just snap to one side or the other that way you're not sitting there on aim down sight and then aiming down sight which could cost you your life just aim, being able to aim down sight as snappy as you can there can uh, can quickly save your life if I had money for a gas mask I would definitely full send that but I don't um so at this point i'm probably gonna play i don't see anyone on top tower surprisingly i'm gonna play for top bank and hope it hasn't been looted keep an eye on the rooftops i don't see anything now I'm playing really conservative, playing pretty slow around every every corner because I don't have necessarily the guns that are going to be able to get me out of a free gun, free uh, I don't have the guns that are going to get me out of a bad situation. I'm in the bad situation. But you still got to keep your rotations. Keep moving. If you're going to die, you might as well die early. You know, like if you're in a bad spot, embrace it and try to get out of it. Don't just play so slow that you die five minutes later, still in a really bad spot. Alright, I don't have any vehicles to help me get through this really awkward no man's land. I'm going to take a second. Pull up my map. There's going to be some really strong power positions up here. I could be able to like get up and around. And I might do that. Take vehicle this vehicle. Marked and get up and around because this is like super super power position getting over here really isn't going to be too beneficial unless i make it all the way through mill base and make it over to here because this right here is a death trap there are going to be snipers up on this top ridge and so i basically need to get all the way around which right now an attack over would be too dangerous or i can work my way up there and fight it right now i'm working towards fifth zone right now so i'm really just going to bank on getting safe with this vehicle uh maybe like inside of this crevice or up and around here if i wasn't talking i would have taken this vehicle early and then made my way up and around but you, you really got to think three or four steps ahead especially when you don't have a squad to, to you know get you out of a, a bad situation i gotta be really careful because a lot of people are gonna be rotating out of my left so I'm going to use this vehicle for cover against that. Fudge the buy a little bit. I got the Always staying moving so I don't get sniped. There's still only eight people left. Look, 
looking for sniper glares. All right, so hopefully this next zone is favorable. It probably pulls my load out like right there or something. All right, it came with one other loadout, so I'm three, two other loadouts. Might have someone in the, in the close vicinity. So we're gonna grab our loadout and get out quick and try to find ourselves into a power position. All right, so we've got cluster strikes going on up there. Most likely a fight. I'm gonna force myself not directly to it, but basically take that pinwheel and start isolating myself. If I pushed up that hill, I could have gotten shot in the back. So now I've pushed myself to the pinwheel location. And I'm going to get out of my car. I'm a giant red spot on everyone's map. I'm going to start rotating on foot. Clear out this real quick because I haven't already. There's a stack of loot right here. Got myself some extra sniper bullets. Now we're checking the edge of the zone and out in front of us. Already cleared out most of the edge of the zone. Now our eyes can focus on what's in front of us. We see a truck off in the distance. That's most likely the person that called out the cluster. That truck got out right about there. Moving. Movement. Moving. Don't get tunnel visioned. Keep clearing up our top right. Find ourselves into a power position. Big old tactical nuke for my five kill game. Absolutely heater of a gameplay. So if, I, if I feel really safe where I am, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that that's weak. Let him keep burning his pre-fire. That's it. Definitely thought that was someone. I got my kill. So that guy confirmed my kills. I have six kills. I had five earlier. But I got shot in the side. I no longer have self revive, so I've really got to be careful here on that flank. I'm going to loop back real quick. Grab some extra cash, a satchel. But I also gave up my high ground, so I instantly have to clear this out again. Scan in my top right. Scanning close. I got shot from somewhere... Over in this direction. Enemy mark. Fucking cheap. So I was basically That's looking for somewhere Locking where someone off. could shoot me from there, but also get the thirst down there. That's kind of where I was like narrowing my sight. I saw just a little bit of movement, and I didn't want to push up. Notice this is all no man's land. I could have gone off for a really aggressive thirst, but he could have rechild me, and I also could have gotten shot from most likely the last person that's here lower somewhere. Playing really, really safe. So now i got to see where my next piece of cover is, and unfortunately, I don't really have a solid piece of cover. So I'm going to use this uh, tack rover as cover. I'll show you what I'll do since I feel pretty good. So since I don't really have a solid piece of cover that I'd like, I'm going to use this tack rover as cover. But fortunately, I've got plenty of rocks over here. And uh, this guy is completely lost. Almost as lost as my sniper shot. But uh, that's GG's. So, not the cleanest game, not the highest kill game ever. But uh, like I said, 
if you want pretty much a guaranteed win obviously the only time that i got gunned was guy, a guy with a really good gun skill and dead silence rolling up on me from behind uh yeah man super super easy claps there just playing my angles playing where i know rotations are going to be coming where people are coming from and thinking three or four steps ahead if i would have if i would have gotten stuck in that airfield crossing across on foot that would have been G like ggs for me i should have let the atv roll over him i was thinking it was gonna happen too that would have been bad <laughs> so like i said not the most banger gameplay like i was talking about in the very beginning this may or may not be double digits uh depending on how how safe you play but like i said what i was playing for and the style i was playing for too easy if you're hunting for wins too easy.